Recently in the Linux community I've seen a strange idea spreading, and that idea is that we should be giving new Linux users rolling release distributions to start them off with Linux. And honestly I have no idea where this comes from or why people seem to think this. I've heard some really strange justifications for this idea too. For instance the idea that we should be giving new Linux users rolling release distributions because they have more up to date graphics drivers. Which is an absurd idea that seems to assume that everyone coming over to Linux is is a gamer. So with that said, in today's video I'm going to cover why it is that we shouldn't be giving new Linux users rolling release distributions. Right now, on the Linux Lounge. So the first reason why we shouldn't really be giving new Linux users rolling release distros is that they are, generally speaking, less reliable and stable than non-rolling release distros. This isn't to say that they're inherently unreliable or unstable, but it is to say that a new user is more likely to encounter issues when using a rolling release distro as compared to a distro with a more traditional release model. This particularly becomes a problem when you consider that rolling release distros tend to have less users and therefore it's harder to find solutions to problems. This is made worse by the fact that some, but notably not all, rolling release distributions have communities that are less welcoming to newcomers. It's also worth pointing out that usually new users are only willing to give Linux one chance. If something breaks or doesn't work, then they're going to assume that Linux sucks and they want nothing to do with it. So, as a whole, I think that we're doing a disservice to the Linux community by not giving new users the most stable and reliable distribution possible. Which, in my opinion, that's not a rolling release distro. Another problem with giving new users a rolling release distribution is that they're not really designed to be easy to use. Distributions like Mint and Ubuntu are built from the ground up to be easy to use. If you use them, you will probably never have to drop back to a terminal if you don't want to. They have graphical software centers, graphical update managers, and graphical pretty much everything. In fact, Mint even has an auto-update feature. So in theory, you could just install Mint on your computer and completely forget about it and never have to worry about a thing. Compare that to one of the easiest to use rolling release distributions, Manjaro. Without a doubt, it's an operating system that's designed for people who are tech savvy. Although it does have a graphical user interface for most things, it's still nowhere near as friendly out of the box as Mint or Ubuntu is. It doesn't have a nice graphical software center, and although it does have an update manager, it's not nearly as friendly. Now, although this might be great for people who want to learn Linux, and in fact I think for a lot of tech savvy users who are just new to Linux, experimenting with something like Manjaro could be a good idea. But I do think for a vast majority of average new users, a rolling release distribution isn't the way to go. Remember, using a computer for most people is a means to an end, and most people just want something that is simple, and we have to show them that Linux can do that. And finally, the last reason I have for why we shouldn't really be giving new users rolling release distributions is a simple one. They just don't really need them. Most new users don't develop a need for the latest and greatest until they've been using Linux for a while. So for them, something like Ubuntu or Mint is more than up to date enough. If they do need something like newer graphics drives or whatever, then they only really need to look up how to install them online, and they'll find several great and easy to follow guides that are probably written with Ubuntu based distributions in mind. But frankly, for most new users, Ubuntu or Mint will probably be more than good enough as is, as most people just want a simple and reliable system to do the basics and get work done. And with that said, that's it for today's video. I have no doubt that this will probably be a fairly controversial video, but do feel free to have some civil discussion in the comment section below if you wish. But with that said, that's it for today's video. I will see you in the next one, and I thank you for watching.